boy. Yay found me. I, my car got repoed. Man, I had to move, cause I couldn't pay the bill at the Man, crib. Shit. A week later, I, after I'm packing my stuff a week later, I get a hundred tweets. And I'm like, what is this? I'm mad that day. I'm like, man, fuck this. Yeah, you do what? Okay. Two, three weeks later, I'm in Hawaii. If you really want to chase your dream, you got to put it all into it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I never want to see nobody go to jail. I never think you got to go to jail to be a certain type of person. But when I went there, it helped me in my life. You know what I'm saying? It helped me. When I came out, it was like, I'm doing this. This is what I'm doing. I don't give a fuck what nobody's saying. I can talk about whatever I want. And this is what I'm doing. I'm going to dedicate my whole life to it. And then shit been different ever since, you know? Look, man, I'm on some West Coast, like, I'm trying to bring this shit back. I don't feel like we left, but you feel me? It ain't been no young niggas, no young people out there popping this shit. I find the message in anything because it's like, I look at it like, all right, if you trying and you trying to say something, I'm gonna find that message because everybody got a life. Everybody done been through something. Yeah, I think the like, dedication is like, I think that is like the most important thing before everything, before like, yeah, how much talent you got on the mic, cool. How much, how much are you saying, cool. Like, that's great. Everyone can say a different message. Everyone has their own backgrounds and everyone is saying something different. But what it comes down to, will you do some crazy shit strictly to get further in the game? Like, how hungry are you? How much do you want it? Like, will you drive like 16 hours on no sleep with and spend all your money just to perform at a show. Will you do that? Are you with that? My little brother called me. Yo, Lil Wayne gonna be in the city tonight. Like, try to come down here and we see if we can open up. I talked to the promoter, he said we can open up. When I got there, the promoters told me, like, you can't perform. So I basically begged the promoters and begged Cortez, which is Wayne manager and which is my manager now. I begged him to put me on stage and like, he put me on stage and I've been with Young Money ever since. My time was messed up. Last week I was went to London and back to LA and they're like, you wanna get in the studio? And I'm like, yeah, cause the way the internet works, man, it's like, they always hungry for more cause there's always another yeah. person cause it's that exactly. internet. It's not just radio exactly. and TV. And so that's when, you know, I knocked out this joint that I literally put out tomorrow. Cause I'm like, man, I dropped my tape. You, you, you just gotta love Diggy Stress. Diggy Stress stories is just wonderful. Hip hop to me and American music has always been driven by blues, blues music and pain of the heart. Shit that you've been through, uh, it sets you up to tell a story. And uh, for me, man, you know, having my shit thrown out on the street, people throwing rocks at me and shit, trash on stage, or fucking being homeless, all the lights off, no heat, children hungry, food stamps, you know? It shit, you know, the, if you're willing to put your life up for this, that's when you're gonna see a real benefit. That's when you're gonna go to the top. A lot of people say, I'll put my life on the line, but they won't. They won't die for it. I will. I'm going to. I'm gonna go out like this. This is what I was born to be. And when you accept that fate, you, you'll see a quick turnaround because there is no plan B for me. There never was. I get a lot of girls and they all think, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, I get a lot of girls and they all think that I just be around just knocking every girl off. And they don't understand, they don't understand. I be sitting right in the studio. I have my freshest outfit on. I'm in love with the environment. I'm just in love. I'm in love hearing my, hearing my voice come through the speakers. I wanna, and I said some slick, stupid shit that yeah. I barely didn't even yeah. catch. It's like, when you're a student of the game, it's about being yourself. I can rap 30 different styles, you feel me? Rapping is being yourself, and that's what I look at. I was like, man, you know, take that story and take it from your heart. A lot of the younger dudes, you got a long way to go. You know what I'm saying? You gotta feel a lot of pain before you can be a real, before you can be culturally impactful and not just make music that's dope or slick. But once you create a story for yourself and that story can be felt by the world, that's the difference between uh, MC and a superstar.